Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Vipratyush and in this tutorial, I'm going to be diving you through every single thing about Buildify Web. It is the web version of the Buildify and it is super smooth to use and also you can use it to build some very great looking GUIs from scratch without any hassle. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so here we are inside the Buildify web. So here is the website, you can visit it from the description down below. So this is a very great platform to create Python GUIs with a simple drag and drop interface. Alright, so once you are inside the website, just click on over here to start building for free. And make sure that you can get free export per month for free without any cost. So you can go for it and use it to build your very own hobby. If you want it for the professional reasons, then you can take the monthly or the yearly subscription or even the lifetime would do a great job for you. So once you are here, you will get this website over here and you can see that I'm having the lifetime version. So I have got the unlimited exports over here. So let me show you the entire interface and let me break it down for you. So these are the components tab. So basically these are the widgets that you can add to your canvas. So this is the very basic canvas where you can add buttons or simply widgets. And this is the design tab right now. You can simply switch to code mode to get the entire code over here. You can get the requirements and the readme file over here. And also you can get some troubleshooting guide. If you get some issues, then you can fix them easily. You can use this instructions to run your application. And this is the layer tab. So basically here you will get the, all the layers and you can simply toggle their visibility and also you can lock the layer and also kind of rearrange the layers or widgets. And here you can see how many components has been added. And this is the component property. So basically when I select the button, you will get all the properties related to the button along with a specified code for it. So this is the very basic button and you can see the text every single thing that are required and on going on more you can also give us feedback and ideas basically whatever you have any feedback in your mind you can go for it and if you want to upgrade your plan then there are pro plan and lifetime plan also there is a plan which is for the monthly basis which is of eight dollar which is really cheap i think you can take it and just start creating or also you can use the free version which has got you three export per month you can see your profile over here and you, you can simply sign out over here and you can get all the notifications over here in this tab which is like free code export has been available right now so that's super great and also you can create a new project over here to click on here and you can start creating a new project and also you can save the project locally or auto save it to our cloud so you will get the cloud access over here. So basically you can use the unlimited cloud project if you have taken the pro version. So basically you can save this project to cloud or also you can load from the cloud. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a very basic login page. We will be handling over some of the very basic widgets over here. So click on this new project and start with continue anyway and you will get this kind of window. Now I'm going to be resizing it, go over to the setting tab and then you can change the window title, let's say login. And another method for changing the title is double clicking on over here and you can change it right over here also. Go to settings, now you can also change the window size, let's say 640 into 480 would be great. And let's change the background color to be a bright white. And you can also set the appearance mode and simply apply it. Now you can see the window is ready and now we can add some widgets over here like a button. So let's say we have added a button over here and let's try to save it first. So I'm going to be saving it to cloud. Let's save it as a login and I will be saving it to cloud. And you can see project saved to cloud. Great. Now, once you click this button, you can change all the properties. For example, I'm going to be creating a login page. So I'm just going to write over here login so that user can click on over here to just simply log in into their account. We got some entry boxes over here, so simply you can rearrange them. And once you get it over here, you can change the placeholder. Let's say, let's name it something like enter name here. 
something like this also you can change the font properties and sizes over here so i can increase the font somewhat like this and also you can change the border color over here for example if i want a blue color then i can change the border color to blue or i can change the corner radius and the border width also somewhat like this now if you want to copy it you can simply right click over here you can copy cut hide log and delete the entire widgets or you can use the shortcuts like command c to copy and then command v to paste or control c and control v on your windows keyboard now you can simply align it straight away in the grid so grid is for the reference purpose so i'm going to be clicking on over here and let's change the thing like enter email here and you got this very simple kind of login page i'm going to be changing the color for the login button so i'm going to be going over to here and you can select hover color text color and background color i'm going to be selecting the background color and you get this very simple color and let's say i want to change the text color to somewhat like white looks super beautiful now you can add more of the things like the image progress bar we are adding more so basically you can give a suggestion which widgets we should add next or target next and then you can go for the label so just label like something like this all right suppose this is the very simple label over here so i'm going to be just changing it so once you've done this just click on over here to save the entire thing then you can modify the next property over here so i'm going to be just changing it to bold so that it looks great you can change the font and entire thing and you can also change the text color for example this one all right that looks great and also you can just auto save i'm going to be just turning it off you can turn it on according to you and now you can also save it to cloud or simply load from the cloud like i have created a shift share and a login page so you can load it from over here and once you are done what you can do is simply align it so let me align it for instance all right once aligned i can simply export it so go over to code and you can see export project over here click on it and it will give you a download zip file So here is the zip file and it contains an app.py, some assets and readme file and requirement file. Make sure to install custom tk inter and all the requirements so you can open this text file up and you can get the entire requirements. So I'm going to be opening it over here. And let me just run this app. So F5 on your keyboard in order to run it. This might take some time but it will give you this kind of beautiful looking application enter the name and the text over here and simply click on login to get logged in so this is a very basic app that we have created you can add more of the widgets like the sliders and the checkboxes to make this project more good sort like this you can add them over here also if you want to delete it then click on over here and backspace or delete on your keyboard in order to delete it so yeah that looks great I hope this video was helpful and if it was then consider subscribing hit that like button below i will meet you in the video until then keep learning goodbye